I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for the week of March the 7th. This is such a great time, Capricorn. I really hope it is for all of us. You know I'm a Capricorn too. Uh, there's a new moon this week. It's a solar eclipse. It's a total eclipse. It's a first eclipse for the year. It's also a super moon, so it's really super charged energy. Now, it's in our third house, so there's lots of creativity. So for us, of course, our minds are always on business. Business um, and money, of course. So, you know, as I said, two things make the world go around love and money. Um, and and lucky for us, Venus, who governs love and money, is in our solar second house. Okay, so let's cover this all together because the third house where the solar eclipse is is very much about creativity, getting a creative project off, off and running. So, if you've been um, you know, working on something and it's been stagnating, it's time to pick it up and put it out there. And, uh, you know, if you can do that, then with the Venus also in this area of the solar second house and moving into this creative area, it's sort of like you can connect with the right people now, people that are, are going to help you, you know, just get things together and the, the right people, the people that you want to work with. Um, so, you know, firstly, don't sit behind your desk 24-7. Okay, so get out there, um, start making contacts, start getting out in the world. Um, secondly, put out to the universe what you want. Okay, be specific and, uh, and do it from your heart. Okay, and thirdly, in the second house, even though Venus can attract and be an attraction power and certainly for money, the second house is also about feeling worthy of receiving what you want okay so this is a great time to really get in touch if you do some meditation then that's great or just spend some time by yourself go for walks in nature or stay on the treadmill a little longer or whatever it is that time in the day that you can get for yourself and you know just sometimes that's enough to just ask yourself you know what's blocking me from receiving everything I want in life. Now there's two trains of thought here. Firstly, of course you want to be positive and put out to the universe in a positive manner what you want. I'm always saying that. Excuse me. But also, if you've got a blockage there, then if you just keep pushing it down and not looking at it and dealing with it, it's like having a sore and putting a band aid over it. You know, eventually it might heal, but, it, you know, there's no air getting to it, so it's not going to heal you know, as fast. So you, it's a band-aid job. So you want to like bring it up, feel it, and then release it. And, you know, if you're doing a meditation, I always ask to please release, um, you know, please release anything that's blocking me from my highest good. And I, I get like those shudders, which is like energy just sort of like shush, releasing through. It's different for everybody, of course, but you know, whatever you need to do to just get in touch with that, because this is a fabulous time. I'm counting on it, you know. <laughs> I've got some I've got some big goals I wanna, you know, put into motion. I'm hoping to bring to fruit fruition this year. So um, you know, this is a this is a great time. Let's do everything that we can for ourselves to uh, to make it happen for ourselves. Okay, all right. Love and luck to you. See you next week.